The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise the court is now back in session. We would like to hand over to the prosecution now, please. Co-prosecutor, please La hold on. Counsel for Mr. Yang Sari, you may now proceed. La défense de Yang Sari avant de la laisser au procureur. Maître Counsel Angadam, good afternoon, Mr. President. Good bon afternoon to you, Président. your honors, and Madame to my learned colleagues juges, and everyone in and around the courtroom. Tous ceux et celles ici présents. I would request that uh, the co-prosecutor refrain co from presenting documents that are supporting the facts de déposer des documents relevant to the crimes as the accused uh, is charged. Here we are in the session when we are presenting Cette documents concerning the les accusés. document E124 document E124 E124 7.3 so the matter being discussed uh, shall be relevant to their portions and here we are discussing about the roles, for example, the role of Mr. Yang Sari. I would like uh, that uh, this role, par exemple, is role is presented, for example, like Mr. Yang Sari was uh, the Minister rôle, of Yang Foreign Sari Affairs or Minister of ou any of the ministry, so on and so forth. With that, I would like to humbly ask again that uh, documents in culpatry <laughs> documents de charge. Shall, uh, should be refrained from being represented because everyone should be on the same page. We are now discussing about the role, the role of the accused. That's all we want to hear. So it is important that the accused person is to be informed of Il some allegations concerning his role during the time. So when the co-prosecutor overstepping to presenting documents concerning the crimes um, in this uh, portion of the session, we take that as inappropriate or irrelevant. Mr. President, if I can respond as follows. My learned friend is quite wrong about the relevant aspects of the closing order to which these presentations are addressed. And of course, in E124 slash 7.3, your honours have listed a number of paragraphs which are relevant to this trial and to the role of the accused, and specifically in relation to Mr. Q. Sampan, the paragraphs starting from 1126 and onwards deal with the matters which I have been covering to date. His membership, the Central Committee participation, the Standing Committee, the role in relation to the Presidium, Ministry of Commerce, disappearances of people he worked with, etc., etc. I'm also a little bit puzzled as to why my friend is making this objection now when the presentation of Ying Sari is well and truly concluded. In conclusion, Your Honours, the presentation follows closely the roles of the accused, in particular in this case of Q Sampan, and it is within the paragraphs of the indictment which Your Honours are considering in this, in this case. Your Honours, please proceed to the presentation of Council Angadam. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. President, again. I am not actually objecting against um, the presentation of documents. I only want to um, alert to uh, the prosecutor that it is repetitive, and in the future, if uh, he is going to do that, uh, it's going to be repetitive. And I think that in the interest of time, uh, we should uh, avoid this. I believe that it will save a lot of court time if we, if we issue in this manner. 
The President, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, you may uh, resume your presentation according to the, your own strategy. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And just before the break, we were looking at document E3-687, which, as I indicated, has been presented before, and I'm noting it here only for because it's relevant, it's, it's part of this period that we're looking at. Um, it's an interview dated the 9th of July 1982 with the New York Times, and it indicates that uh, Q. Sampan stated that he had taken part in the collective decision to evacuate the Phnom Penh by force. E3-687 and the relevant ERNs, Khmer 00651-187, French 00622-5450, and English 00122-280. At this point, Mr. President, with your permission, we'd like to play a brief video clip. It's approximately it's just under three minutes in length. Un peu moins de trois minutes. Uh, it is from 1983, according to the information on the Selon case file. Sur le dossier pénal, cet extrait vidéo remonte à 1983. An interview with Q. Sampan. Q. Sampan. The relevant document number le document is D232 slash 110.1.1.6R. And in the AV Units table. It is docu It is video, est le video e. e. So, with your permission, Mr. President, we will le, play this la liste que nous avons remis brief segment. Avec la permission de la Chambre, Monsieur le Président. The President, President. You may proceed. Oui. Je vous en prie. Every unit is now instructed to play the video clip. La Chambre, je mets dans la régie de projeter l'extrait. Monsieur le Président, vous savez à quel point l'image de marque des Khmer Rouges est négative. Mr. President, you know how negative the image of the Khmer Rouges is. They have been associated with a true genocide. The market is massacred hundreds of thousands of Cambodians. Do you deny all guilt in this, uh, in this massacre? Answer. Errors were committed. But I can reassure you that those errors were committed. De at the level of execution, you can imagine how tense the situation was after the war. Dans In all revolutions, il y a eu des there may be excesses par -ci, par -là. here and there. Et le cas de notre and in the case of our revolution, ne peut pas être une exception. we cannot il y a eu des vengeances see any exception Personnel. to the world. Cases of personal vendetta. Des vengeance de la part de certaines gens de la campagne contre there were reprisals by des gens people in the rural ville. areas against people coming Toute from the towns. Que nous avons fait tout notre possible. And in the case Pour of all cases of revenge, we did our best to stop them Mais de là à dire and to limit them. them. But to say that systematic massacres no. were committed is not true. I'll say no to that. Le nom de Pol Pot est the name of Pol Pot massacre is associated with the massacres Pol Pot directly. On when sanguineur. you hear the Or name Pol Pot, Pol Pot, Pot, Pot you think of a blood-sucking murderer. Do you dissociate yourself Je from the decisions you took? Il est comme nous tous, like all of un sincère patriote. Pop Il aime son is a sincere Il patriot. Comme he loves his people, he loves également. his country, Et le peuple as I do, sait. and the people as well. Notre peuple sait que nous Our avons commis des erreurs. that we committed errors. Tell, tell, tell. Mais one error or the other. 
but they also know that we, all of us, sacrifice ourselves for our country and for our people. That the people know as well. And that is what explains the fact that, in spite of everything, Thank you, Your Honours. The relevance of that document, of course, is the discussion by Q. Sampan of the causes that led to the crimes of his own role in relationship also with Pol Pot. The next document that we would take you to is document E3-703, E3-703, and it is dated the 15th of July 1987, 15th of July 1987. It is issued by the Office of the Vi Vice President of Democratic Cambodia in charge of foreign affairs, an office held at that point in time by the document is entitled, What are the truth and justice about the accusations against democratic Kampuchea of mass killings from 1975 to 1978? Again, it's a rather long document, so we will just quote from it selectively the portions where the atrocities and the responsibility of the authorities for those atrocities are discussed. The document denies that the government was responsible for a large number of deaths under, during the Khmer Rouge period. And it's the first relevant passage is at Khmer ERN 0070050, French 00693794. And following, and English ERN 00004 And the section is entitled The Number of People Who Died from Various Factors During the 1975 to 1978 Rule of Democratic Kampuchea. Number one, the number of people who died from illness and food shortage. Quote, According to preliminary but careful assessments, the number of people who died from illness and food shortage during the three-year period throughout the country amounted to more than 20,000, of which the majority were people evacuated from the cities who were not used to the hardship of the countryside. The food shortage had been mainly caused by the Vietnamese agents infiltrated in our state organs who carried out activities of sabotage, especially to destroy medicines and other materials, and stole tens of thousands of tons of rice each year from 1975 to 1978 and sent them to Vietnam. The next section deals with another source of, of deaths. Uh, it is at Khmer ERN 007 French 00693796-7 and English 00004-00. Double zero two under item two, the number of people who died from Vietnam's agents in violation of the state policy. Quote, as a result of such criminal activities of Vietnam's agents, 10,000 people died. Vietnam and their agents had the plan to kill as many as possible, but they could not implement their plan at will because the overwhelming majority of our cadre were dedicated people who enjoyed the support of the people. The next section is particularly relevant, number three, the number of people who died from our mistakes. 
and I'll quote from a part of that section. The situation got all the more confused La situation est devenue d'autant plus confuse of the subversive activities of Vietnam's des agents. Subversives des agents Thus, in our measures to arrest and punish et donc, those Vietnam agents, we committed mistakes Vietnam, that affected the lives of minor offenders or innocent civilians. Mineurs, civilians. From 1975 to 1978, 1978 over 3,000 people de died in this category. As we were able to get rid of Vietnam's agents inf infiltrated in our state organs, we were Vietnam, also able to progressively prevent such mistakes. A little bit further down, un peu plus loin, dans ce même document, he discusses how on the number of deaths or arrests was reduced, and I quote, besides, we had also a lenient autre, policy towards the enemy of the nation and people, and, and we implemented it as follows. De la façon number one, un, to educate those whom we had concrete evidence that they were enemies' agents. Number two, to relieve them of their duties and send them to work in cooperatives or state farms, like ordinary people, so that they could educate themselves. Only a small number of Vietnam's agents who continued to systematically carry out activities to overthrow democratic Kampuchea were arrested, imprisoned, and sentenced. The next section, number four, deals with the numbers who died as part of the struggle against the traitors. I quote here, the number of people who died from the struggle against the enemy, especially in June 1978, was only in dozens. We were able to keep this figure low because when we took measures to arrest the traitors, we did not send whole army units to arrest the entire centers or departments or zone and provincial headquarters. We arrested one or two at a time. And then he goes on to discuss the arrest of Sao Pim. The relevance of these passages, Your Honours, is the discussion of centralized, or what appears to be centralized, acknowledgement of a centralized policy and efforts to arrest the enemies. Then there are concluding remarks on the democratic Kampuchea rule and on the Exemple, control exercised by the Communist Party during the period. Et, et le, plutôt, le contrôle le parti this is at Khmer Yaren 007 556 French 0-0-693-798-799 and English 0 0 0 0 4 Quote, as for the loss of lives of the Kampuchean people by any means during that period, it is still small in comparison with other countries in the world, whether during big historical changes or peaceful time. Even though we had to face Vietnamese subversive activities in Kampuchea and their acts of aggression at the border, we always relied on the people to crush these subversive activities and to defend our country. A little bit further down, we were able to do so because of our confidence on the people and of their support and because we were fully in control of the situation through the people in various departments and in the cooperatives. Lastly, on the following page in all three languages, he concludes as follows, la conclusion la quote, to be fair, the number of people who died in Kampuchea uh, from 1975 to 1978 1975, is less than people who died by car accidents in some countries, meurent, uh, where each year 30,000 people or more died from road accidents. Before we leave this report, I will just 
note for the record that the rest of it seeks to attribute two and a half million deaths of Cambodians to the Vietnamese in the period 1979 The next document, Your Honours, in which Q Sampan discusses his role in the regime and his knowledge or otherwise of the policies and crimes committed during the regime, is D366-3, which is on page 172. It is an interview with the French newspaper avec le quotidien français, le quotidien Le Monde. And I will quote from two sections of this interview only. At Khmer ERN 00002735, French 00710202, and English 00716438. He says the following. Pol Pot used to talk about enemies from without and from within, he continued. But I found that normal because we were a young revolutionary regime which had been through so much. And in the next paragraph, from 1975 to 1979, he said, there was no debate. The Politburo meetings I attended were simply Pol Pot monologues. He said that the former dictator, who died in 1998 in unexplained circumstances, started to lose touch with reality following the 1975 military victory. But everyone within the Communist Party ranks continued to commend and endorse his actions because he spoke of the threat posed by the American CIA and the Vietnamese. His explanation sounds unconvincing considering the purges within the Communist leadership were ongoing. The next passage of that article at Khmer Yaren 00002738-39, French 00710204, and English 00716442. Even though he acknowledges the genocide, albeit belatedly, Hu Sampan insists that he still has conflicting feelings about the Khmer Rouge leader. Quote, Pol Pot was always forthcoming with me, and I can say that he regarded me as a patriotic intellectual. He used to liken our relationship to that between Lenin and Gorky, and seemed to think that intellectuals like me do not have both feet on the ground. Speaking about Tamok, whose alliance with Pol Pot was crucial, he said that he never took notes during meetings. Whenever Tamok was reprimanded by Pol Pot, he would begin scribbling on cigarette paper. Asked whether he was ever threatened by the Khmer Rouge leadership, Q Sampan answered, to tell you the truth, never. Even Tamok liked me. I had no problems with him. The relevance of that document, Your Honours, is obviously that it records Q Sampan's apparent admissions of participation in meetings, uh, his relationship with Pol Pot, and also his awareness of meetings between Tamok and Pol Pot, or his presence at those meetings, as well as the fact that he didn't feel under any threat. The next relevant document is E3-198. It is a 17th of August 2005 interview interview of Kyusampan by SOAS, the School of Oriental and Asian and African Studies of the University of London. It's a short document, um, so I only mention it in passing. The relevant contents of it include 
and an indication by Q Sampan that the Central Committee received reports from the regions. Although he alleges that the Central Committee could Même not control si the situation but only received the reports. Il ne pas la and in that document, he also indicates that he had become aware il dit of arrest in the North Zone il a été au after dans la zone the assignment of Kang Chap to be in charge. Kang Chap eut été nommé responsable. Before we turn to the two books authored by Kyusampan, I would like to now play two brief or two excerpts from a documentary which we have seen, parts of which we have seen before, but not these particular parts. It is entitled Pol Pot and Kyusampan Facing Genocide. Was produced in 2007 or 2008, and it contains extensive footage of Q Sampan and interviews with him. It is document E109 2.3R, and in the AV table, it is identified as video J. And Mr. President, with your permission. We will play the first Nous faire segment now. So this is video J number one in the AV table. Video J table. numéro one dans le tableau remis au service technique. Le président, vous êtes autorisé. Service technique va faire passer les extraits vidéo en question conformément à la demande du procureur. When we ask Kyosampan about the crimes of the Khmer Rouge, he takes out a pile of papers, pages from a book he's writing. He demands to read from his book first. Il exige de pouvoir d'abord lire son livre. Premièrement, la plupart des auteurs First of all, most of the authors had made errors in interpretation, for example, Ces auteurs, parmi lesquels Ben Kiernan, including Ben Kiernan, écrivent que, wrote that, dans le cadre de sa campagne contre la domination des communistes vietnamiens, Pol Pot s'allie avec Tamok et Kai Pot. He acts like he's only an academic who disagrees with other academics, and not like the Khmer Rouge leader who's been for 25 years. À votre avis, combien de gens sont morts dans le Khmer Rouge Je ne peux pas vous dire exactement le chiffre. Certainement, il y en a beaucoup, mais je ne crois pas jusqu'à 2 millions. Mais je ne crois pas qu'il y en ait plus que 2 millions. C'est un peu un exagéré. Quelle est votre responsabilité pour ce qui s'est passé Ma responsabilité my personal responsibility? Je ne, je ne dispose de, de pouvoir. I didn't exert any power. Mais Perhaps. Même, uh, point de vue responsabilité, but if you are talking about responsibility, on ne peut pas me le reposer, one je cannot ne, accuse me of anything because I didn't rien. know anything. Pourquoi ne pas savoir? Pourquoi Why ne didn't pas I know savoir? anything? Why didn't I try to find out anything? Perhaps you can blame me for that. But for me, I didn't want to know because I respected the rules of the party. Did you feel betrayed by Pol Pot or cheated that he didn't let you know? No, because Afterwards, still, I felt that he had reasons for it. What Pol Pot really did, certainly he had reasons for doing so, and they tortured sent her at S21. No, I had no idea about S21. I can't say that Pol Pot had created it. 
But wasn't he responsible? Pardon me, wasn't he responsible? Évidemment, puisqu'il est of course, le chef du parti. Since he was the leader of the party. Et tolérer ça, sinon officiellement, mais he ignorer ça. Le responsable le chef du parti doit en être officially responsable. Officially, he was the leader of the oui, party. He was responsible. De respect pour Has Pol that Pot. changed uh, your respect for Pol Pot? Le problème I'm est vraiment telling complexe. you, it is a very complex problem. On ne peut pas que vous êtes fautif. You can't just vous devez être, être condamné. Vous devez guilt. partir. You can't just pas say aussi ça. You're punished and leave. It's not that simple. And we will move on now to the two books authored by Kyo Sampan. And we will return later to this documentary with, with your permission, Mr. President. But for now, looking at document E3-16, E3-16, this is a book entitled Considerations on the History of Cambodia from the Early Stage to the Period of Democratic Kampuchea. And this is in Chapter 5. It is a very long book, over 300 pages in Khmer. Um, I will only quote a few brief passages where Q. Sampan discusses his views about the Khmer Rouge movement, and also about the policies of the Communist Party. The first passage of relevance is at Khmer ERN 00380351, French 00643824, and English 00498222. He says the following, and this is by way of describing his ability to analyze the Khmer Rouge period. Quote, I have faith in my own general views on the movement based on two things. First, I traveled with the movement for 30 years, and I passed through many twists and turns many times, sometimes at the peril of my life. Second, I personally knew many heroes unknown to others, cadres, combatants, male and female, the beloved children of the peasants who sacrificed their lives for the cause of the nation and the cause of social justice that they so loved and desired. The next passage deals with Q. Sampan's view on the arrest of one of the senior cadre, Chan Chakri, an East Zone divisional commander. This is at Khmer ERN 00380444, French 00643877, and English 00498272. And this is what he says, quote, as for Chakri, Pol Pot had not trusted him for quite some time. For example, at the 9 October 1975 meeting of the Standing Committee, he remarked that even though his, in brackets, Khoi Thun's division was strong, the political education of the combatants was not very profound, and Chakri himself was new and had his position because of Vietnam. We must monitor somewhat closely. For fairness, I should indicate there he footnotes a reference to, the book of, to one of the books of Ben Kiernan. But then he goes on to say, it is my understanding that Pol Pot's saying this in front of the standing committee was responsible speech, not words of hatred for Chakri because of some matter. He was speaking as a party secretary who had been monitoring Chakri for a very long time. The next passage with respect to the arrest of Chakri and others connected or suspected of being connected to him 
soupçonné d'être l'associé sur avec lui en Khmer 00354 English 00493 Quote Because of the clear interference of the Vietnamese that I have repeatedly described above I wish to take this opportunity to make an observation. The evidence Philip Short provided about the Vietnamese having created the Khmer Rundok movement, together with the evidence that other researchers have discovered, makes it clear that all of Pol Pot's monitoring following his 378 principle of Chakri, Chuk, Ya, and the other cadre who had cooperated with the Viet Minh was correct. Thus, Paul Philip Paul Short was incorrect when he wrote the role of prison S21 and the confessions was not primarily to provide information, but rather to provide the proof of treason Philippe that Short they needed to arrest anyone they had already decided to arrest. The policy of independence from Vietnam required the implementation of absolute policies inside the country. In the next section of the book, of this chapter, Hugh Sampan analyzes the confessions of Poi Thun, alias Tuch, and his understanding of what Et was happening in relation to Poi Thun's arrest and those de of his de associates. associates. Khmer Yaren 00380457 457 English 00498279 French 00643885 Quote Je cite As I understand it, in these responses, moi, there were three primary réponses, themes that may have caught Pol Pot's attention. Pot. These confessions may have led ces Pol Pot to believe even more that his arresting Ya was not wrong. And Ya may have been an individual that played an important role in the new party that they were setting up. Second, but the issue that Pol Pot may have noticed most of all was related to the confession of Khoi Thun, meaning Duan of Office 870 having given to Ya secret information of the standing committee on the matter of V and Lao, the secretary and deputy secretary in Ratnakiri. Aside from Duan, no one had known. Le président interrompt. <coughs> the president. Uh, Mr. Prosecutor, could you please pause? Co procureur, pourriez-vous marquer une pause?
The President, I hand over to Judge uh, Civil Card Wright. You may proceed. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, uh, this is a general uh, announcement, so it doesn't specifically concern you. Um, the President has asked me to inform the parties and the public that uh, we have received uh, a medical report in respect of Nguyen Chia, uh, and it uh, recommends that he have a period of rest for de à two weeks, de repos de deux uh, and following a request by the Chamber for clarification, La uh, a this uh, was uh, uh, confirmed to be that he must Et rest completely, uh, that he complet. cannot uh, follow Nonchea from the holding cells. So this means that the chamber has to uh, consider la how it might proceed next week. Um, the first issue is this, that the prochaine. document hearing in relation to Kyo Sampan is not yet concluded, and we won't proceed any further with that this terminé. afternoon. Uh, so that will be the first matter to be terminé. resumed on Tuesday. Uh, uh, elle, elle va se terminer aujourd'hui et cela sera repris mardi. Je m'adresse à présent à la défense de The first is this: we're not asking for any waivers in respect of the first witness scheduled for next week, uh, but there are two uh, a witness and a civil party that we would like to have some indication from you. Uh, concerning. We certainly appreciate that you can't react immediately, but in the circumstances we ask that you keep the court informed over the weekend. The first of these is TCW100, who is part heard. Uh, in other words, he, his uh, testimony has not yet finished. Uh, we understand that he will take um, between one and two days to conclude, uh, and it may be that uh, Nguyen Chia is prepared to waive his uh, right to be present in respect of that witness. The next one is TCCP 116. Um, it's uh, clear to the chamber that on many occasions the parties do not wish to examine civil parties very closely, and it occurs to us that this may be another uh, possible uh, opportunity for a waiver uh, by Nguyen Chia. In respect of that civil party, that person is either here already or is flying civil. from Europe, so it would be really helpful to have uh, some indication uh, as soon as possible. Uh, so, aussi President, I think possible. that's everything that you wanted Monsieur President, covered. Um, I think that's Simply to ask, uh, to assist the trial chamber Donc, as much as you can, Mr. Corpi, uh, as I know you will, to give as much notice uh, as possible. Uh, and there is, seems to be one other matter. Il y a oh, the presentation of Kyo Sampan documents, La obviously documents it, it, that Kyo includes the opportunity for the parties Ici, to comment on those documents. Um, uh, it's not simply finishing the presentation by the, um, the prosecutor, it incorporates the rest of the uh, 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 part of the process as well. Uh, I think that's everything now. Mr. President, Your Honours, um, one practical issue and um, one issue already in response to your, your queries. Um, as you know, um, tomorrow and Monday, uh, the court is closed, and um, there might be practical 
difficulties pour y avoir in to a client. Euh, des difficultés à discuter avec le client. Mon confrère Maître Sonarun est là, um, à ce moment où nous uh, parlons. Arrange for something in order to speak. I hope that we will just want you know to, to let you uh, know that. Second thing is uh, queries about uh, possible waivers. Um, I think it's it's good to indicate that uh, in respect of the waiver of the witness, Mr. Rockoff, uh, Mr. Rockoff was quite clear. Uh, while Monsieur Témoin avait été très clair lorsqu'il nous avait dit qu'il renonçait. Il avait dit that, clairement that que c'était une exception. I don't think he ha will have the same, probably have the same position Je ne sais pas s'il aura la même part. position pour les parties so, civiles. I'm inclined to say, of course, without je having suis, bon, sans spoken avoir to him, parlé à lui, might, je puis um, vous dire d'ores et déjà qu'il est possible qu'il accepte de renoncer à sa participation pour les parties civiles, uh, yes, mais pas nécessairement that, pour uh, le TCMW 100. Uh, Mr. Copy, uh, the ben, Chamber fully understands Merci, the Copé position and has suggested réaction. only two names which uh, may provide an opportunity for a waiver. Uh, I emphasize that the Chamber has not indicated uh, any Et suggestion <laughs> of a waiver tout. for any of the others. Thank you. Que l'accusé pourrait renoncer à son droit de participer pour les autres. The President, the time is now appropriate for the day adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn now and resume on Tuesday, the 5th of February 2013, starting from 9 o'clock in the morning. And the hearing schedule for the 5th of February 2013, as Judge Cartwright advised the party, we are going to hear the key documents concerning the roles of the co-accused. To be presented by the prosecutor, together with the observation as well as objection and responses by other parties. And if uh, time allows, we are going to hear the civil party or uh, witnesses. And uh, the chamber uh, just now ask the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia, and we will assess the situation as it unfolds. The security guards are now instructed to bring the co-accused, Mr. Yang Sari and Mr. Kyu Sampon, back to the detention facility and bring them back uh, to the court room on the 5th of February 2013 at before 9 o'clock in the morning. As for Mr. Yang Sari, he will remain in the holding cell downstairs where the audiovisual equipment is linked for him to observe the proceeding remotely. The court is now adjourned.